Welcome to Road to Damascus. Grab your coffee. I want to talk to you today about spiritual warfare and how we are to put on the Lord Jesus and how we are to put on the full armor of God. And um, I just, every time I turn around, I myself am under attack. My family is under attack. My brothers and sisters of Christ around the world are under attack. And I mean, the devil is hitting hard. And that's because he knows his time is short because the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. Um, we need to be ready because, it, I mean, he's going to come like a thief in the night. We need to be awake and we need to be looking up. We're seeing the signs everywhere. So I want to go ahead and get into some scripture. The first one is Romans 13, verse 14, and then I'm going to move on to Ephesians. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make no provision for the flesh to fulfill its lusts. And of course, if we're making provision for the flesh, then we're walking um, in the flesh. We're we're uh, conforming to the world and the scriptures. You know, Jesus Christ. We become a new creation in Christ Jesus once we are um, saved by His grace through faith. And we are to crucify the flesh and walk in the Spirit. And this is Ephesians six, and this is verse ten. Uh, through 20 and um, this is uh, Paul to the uh, Ephesians to the Saints in Ephesus and uh, this gives us everything that we need to know uh, how on how to fight a spiritual warfare finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end, and with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me, that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak and brothers and sisters we need to be we need to be reading this every day we need to be walking in this we, we need to be putting on the full armor of God we need to be putting on the Lord Jesus Christ um, the devil is the accuser of the brethren and uh, he is going to come at us from whatever direction he can and um, if we put on God's full armor and rebuke the devil and we fight with the sword of the spirit which is the word of God so just like Jesus did uh, whenever he was led into the wilderness and the devil was tempting him he refuted the devil every single time Time, with every temptation that was given, um, that was thrown at him, that the, that the devil came up with, Jesus refuted the devil uh, with the word of God, and then eventually the devil fleed. I mean, he just gave up. And of course, we're not sinless. Um, Jesus was sinless, and so he was able to do that. But by the power of the Holy Spirit and God's word, which is the sword, this is the sword of the Spirit right here, God's word. We have God's Spirit living inside of us, and we have the sword of the Spirit. So these two things, it's a journey, and it's a walk, and we are not perfect. But this right now, brothers and sisters, we need this more than ever right now because Jesus is coming back very soon. We need to be looking up because our redemption draws near. The redemption of our bodies draws very, very near. So, um, And Jesus, of course, is our redemption. So... I hope you have a blessed day, and God willing, I will see you on probably Monday. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Sabbath, and may the peace of our Lord be with you. Shalom. Bye.